What if your slice could go from Figma to fully coded without writing a single line of code? Well, you're already halfway there with Slice Machine's image to slice feature, which takes a screenshot and builds your slice model from it. But there has been one big missing piece. Even with the model generated, developers still had to manually code the slice. And as we all know, that part can be repetitive to say the least. Each project has its own framework, styling conventions, and prismic setup. But as of today, we're beginning to unlock the second half of the magic. Say hello to AI-powered slice coding right inside your editor with the help of Prismic MZP. It gives your AI coding tools like Cursor the full context of what you're building. In this case, a Prismic project. We can make sure our tool knows things like what framework you're using, which fields your model has, your styling conventions like Tailwind or CSS modules, and maybe most importantly, how Prismic components and SDKs work. Setting it up is simple. When you create a new slice in Slice Machine, in the boilerplate code we generate, you will now have information on how to configure our MCP server. I'm doing it in Cursor, which is my editor of choice, but today many other AI-powered editors support MCPs. All right, now with the server set up, let's see it in action. We've got a model generated from our Figma design and the MCP server is running. All I have to do now is to prompt Cursor to generate the slice. And just like that, we have a fully coded slice complete with the right components, fields, and Tailwind classes. Now, an important heads up. While the model is based on the design screenshot, the MCP server doesn't yet use that design when generating code. It focuses on generating clean, production-ready slices that follow Prismic best practices, not the visual layout. But design-aware code generation is coming, and we're already working on it. But already as it is right now, this speeds up development dramatically. You don't waste time on boilerplate, you don't risk misnaming fields or missing props, and you're always coding in line with your project's actual setup, and use Prismix component the way they're intended to be used with your framework. You can start using the MCP server today. The instructions are available when you generate a new slice with Slice Machine. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can also check the link to the MCP in the description below. And if you're excited about visual aware coding and more AI powered features, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more news on this topic. That's all for today. Thank you.